Hey guys, it's Brick Thunder, and today we're going to be unboxing, setting up, and doing a demo of Spear Halloween's 2024 Shirley Stab. <laughs> All right, so here she is. This is actually probably my favorite of the year. This and the Cremator uh, are pretty close, but I think this one definitely is uh, my favorite over him. Um, it's just so unique. It's really cool, not something I'd ever expect to see in retail. Um, and one of the cool things about it was the demo and the clothing, obviously, fit a restaurant theme. And we have a giant restaurant theme in the haunt this year, along with a kitchen, which is down after the restaurant scene. So I might do some stuff in there later on with this um, but my plan for her is actually sitting right back here not really in the seat but kind of behind or right around the seats here I will have tables here eventually but she'll be kind of standing in a corner just looking super creepy I don't think I'm gonna have her motion on I might have the lights on but just as a static I think she looks amazing so she's pretty perfect for my haunt this year that's probably why she is my favorite um, but she's just an awesome concept awesome prop so I'm excited to see her in person because I have not even opened the box yet all right, so let's begin the unboxing. Here we go. All right, so opening this up, let's see what is inside. There's all the parts right there. Because it's techy, it kind of all comes out in one. So let's actually lay this out on the floor and pull this main piece out. Um, and it looks like there's some twist ties, so we'll have to undo those. The first piece is now free, which is the leg. All right, so here it is out of the wrap. This looks pretty good. The only thing is uh, the shoe color is really, really close to the skin, so I might paint those different. Um, and I've seen people do that, and it looks way, way better in my opinion. But overall, looks really good. Just looks like a realistic leg, so definitely good there. We have the bag with the adapter, uh, snap block tool, and the instructions, full color picture instructions. We have the second leg. Next up, we have her torso and head piece. Uh, looks like there's some stuffing here for the arm attached as well. Um, and overall looks good. There's obviously a dent in it, but that's not going to matter at all once the clothing's over it. Um, and yeah, it looks pretty good. Her face actually looks even better in person. Um, I'm glad it's kind of a flat coat of paint. It's really not shiny. Um, so that's a good, good thing. Um, her hair looks good as well. Just kind of pose some of that there. Yeah, looks really nice actually. I like these cuts a lot. And the blood looks pretty good. That's something I've also seen many people customize. Um, I might add some perma blood to that just to make it look a bit better. But in the dark, that's going to look perfectly fine already. Um, so yeah, looks really cool. Here we have her dress um, and her arms are already in here as well. I really like the black gloves. I think that's really, really cool. Um, that's actually one of my favorite little details about this entire thing. Um, there's the knife already carrying that in there. And this dress looks really good. I was not expecting this to be like an actual real leather. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, nice quality clothing right there. We have a hip loop. We have a control box. Here's all of our poles. And finally, the base. All right, let's get to the setup. Here we go. All right, so there's not many parts. So this should be a pretty simple setup. Um, first, we have A to A connections down here with the poles. Those snap in, and then at the top, we have B to B. Same goes for over here. We can then slide her legs on, and these are labeled. Um, there is a left and a right leg, so make sure those are correct. Those sit down on these knobs so that they can't turn left or right. We then have the waist piece and control box, which is C to C. We have the hip loop. We can then slide over her clothing. And that doesn't have to be perfect right now. Uh, we'll get it perfect once this is on. This is the torso piece. This is going to snap the block down. We then have her arms to attach, which are just snap blocks right here. The other one's kind of in the body frame. All right, there we go. And that completes the setup. All we have to do now is connect the wires, and she is ready for the demo. So here we go. All right, here she is. All right, so there she was, Shirley Stab from Spirit Halloween. 
This thing is really cool. I think it definitely remains my favorite of the year. Um, and it's really, really creepy at night. Um, when all those lights are off, it definitely looks very realistic. Uh, the face is super creepy. The blood definitely looks more real when it's dark. As you can see, even when I stand here, it gets darker and looks a bit more real. Um, but yeah, overall, really cool. I think the lights in person also looked pretty good. It doesn't shine as much as it looks on camera, so that's good. I wouldn't want like the neck and these areas to light up around here. You kind of want the light just to show out of the cuts, and that's basically how it looks in person, so definitely better. Um, the knife might need some blood work here just because those don't look very real, but overall, the minor details are not a big deal. I think in the dark, this thing's going to look really nice. In the haunt, people are going to be walking this way, and I think when they pass something like this, which is about kind of where I want her, it's going to be really startling and really creepy to the normal person for sure. Uh, for someone who doesn't recognize it, it's definitely really creepy looking, and when the lights are even dimmer, it's going to look pretty awesome standing there. All right, so there she was, Shirley Stab from Spirit Halloween. Let me know what you guys think of her. I'm excited to use her here in the restaurant scene. Uh, I think she's going to be really, really cool and definitely stand out. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.